basically what I got here is a propane tank that I just cut open and inside of it is a cool little float valve with a gear and a shaft Let's see if I can get that to focus turn it upside down here but that's pretty cool I never knew these things had that inside there but not only do they have this but they have a little check valve in here to stop from the reverse flow of gas because sometimes people hook these up to torches and things or whatever so there's a check valve in there that stops like oxygen gas from accidentally flowing into this tank if you were to use it for welding or whatever all these tanks have that check valve and it's also got this valve on it but anyway the safest way to cut one of these open is a special technique and you have to do it because there's still a couple of pounds or not maybe a couple of pounds but there's still a little bit of gas left inside of this thing even if you open the valve all the way because that check valve requires a little bit of pressure to operate it's spring loaded so there's going to be trapped gas in there so what I did was basically just drilled these two small holes that you see using a very wet slow oily drill bit very oily drill bit really slow safety goggles on all that good stuff I did try to empty it and I didn't really hear any gas come out of it because I did some I did press down on that little check valve inside of there which is another thing you can try and do that's another that's the check valve I'm talking about on this particular one you can press that thing down and it will only open if the spud is tightened into there so basically after I did that I took an air compressor and blew air into one of the holes and you could smell the residual gas coming out of there big time so some people like to fill these up with water and all that crazy stuff I really don't think that's necessary even if you did get an accidental ignition on this tank I do not see this small amount of residual propane having the power to rupture this tank I just don't see that happening I could be wrong it's just not an instructional video this is basically just uh, wanted to share those facts with you that be careful about that residual pressure I don't advise cutting these open, period, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, but if you're fairly mechanically inclined, just remember that this check valve may be jammed, and not only that, but there's another check valve right there that does hold a little bit of residual pressure in there, and I think there might even be another one in this stem. I could be wrong. Anyway, wait till you see what this thing's going to be.